Jeremy Harbour is a well-known entrepreneur and business advisor. He's joining us live to talk about some strategies that you can try out now to improve your income amid the pandemic. Good morning, Jeremy. Hi, good morning. How are you? Oh, we're great. You know, many Americans are, are feeling like they're never going to recover. A lot of people have, you know, either lost jobs or taken pay cuts, yeah. um, and that includes baby boomers. So what are some solutions that you have for them to, you know, exit their business and still make a profit? Yeah, look, I mean, it's um, uh, this is a recession like nothing we've ever seen before. I think, um, you know, in, in a normal recession, there's, a, there's an event that leads to the recession. This is unusual in that we kind of chose to turn the economy off, you know, for the public, uh, for public health reasons. And so it's a really different uh, uh, crisis that we find ourselves in. But look, uh, some of the biggest businesses in the world are started in recessions. So I think there's a really good opportunity for that side hustle or getting started in, uh, in business. I think there's a really good opportunity to buy businesses. There's a whole bunch of businesses that will go into bankruptcy or will have to close their doors for, you know, because of the crisis. And I think there's an opportunity to um, you know, pick up a business in these, uh, in, in these times. And you mentioned the baby boomers. I mean, the baby boomers are, they need to transition. They are you know, big business owners, a lot of uh, a lot of small to medium sized businesses are owned by the baby boomer generation. They're looking to transition to the next generation. The next generation hasn't typically been interested in their kind of business. They want to do something in tech or blockchain or marijuana or something trendy. Um, so I think now there's a really good opportunity to, you know, work with baby boomers in that transition and potentially, you know, get a business yourself from the, uh, from the other side of that. It's interesting. I know we've seen uh, a lot of people look at, at new opportunities and uh, for some people who are finding themselves out of work in the service industry, you know, they've been looking for, for other jobs. Working remotely has become an option for a lot of people. So what are some of the other ways that people could be generating money right now if they're not going to work and, and clocking in in the traditional sense every day? Yeah, so I think, look, there's a, uh, you know, in the last recession, I remember people fell broadly into two categories. And there was one category that said, um, oh, I'm just going to hunker down and wait for everything to go back to normal. And there was another category that kind of went out and did stuff and, and looked for opportunities in, uh, in, the, in the mess that was being created in the wake of the financial crisis. And I'm seeing the same thing now, which is some people waiting for things to go back to normal. Well, what, what if it doesn't go back to normal? What if this is the new normal and we're, you know, in a period of time where there's going to be lockdowns and unlocks and things like that? You know, maybe you need to pivot into uh, something else, using your skills to pivot into, uh, into something else. I mean, I've seen some really innovative uh, things being done by, you know, beauticians and hairdressers or, uh, you know, even um, a wine shop we saw that was doing online Zoom, you know, wine tastings where they would mail the wine to people's house and then arrange a Zoom time where everyone would get together and they would walk them through the different kinds of wines. There's, there's all sorts of things like that where we've seen businesses be able to pivot and actually take advantage of the fact that people are sitting at home getting drunk, I guess. Yeah, well, we, we have wineries locally that we've done stories with that are doing yeah. that that very thing. So, yeah, apparently it's working. Uh, what What's yeah. some of the worst financial advice that's being given out right now? Because I assume that there is a lot of bad advice out there, and, and why shouldn't we follow it? Yeah, well, look, I think a lot of the financial advice is normally just a bit too late. You know, the old adage, if your taxi driver tells you to buy gold, it's time to sell gold, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, so there's a lot of people that are jumping into the stock market because it's really high or jumping into gold because it's really high, which kind of miss, means you've missed a lot of the, um, you know, the boat on the way up. So there are, you know, there are smarter ways to play uh, uh, that game. And I think the other one is, you know, people just saying, look, get, get everything back to cash and then just sit it, sit it out. I think that's, you know, getting back to cash is not a bad idea. Um, but I wouldn't sit it out. I would actively look for where the opportunities are and things because, you know, now is the time. If you look, Again, if you go back to previous financial crises, they've been the sort of birthplace of new millionaires and new entrepreneurs. So it's kind of, um, I think it's about not letting, you know, without being, you know, uh, too trivial about it, not letting a good recession go to waste. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, don't just take all the cash and then and do nothing with it. No risk, no reward is what you're saying. Yeah, and you know, don't pour money into buying a business. I think you can structure a deal cleverly to pick up a business without using cash up front. You know, you can use you know deferred payments, vendor finance, that sort of stuff to 
uh, uh, to, to buy a business. I think if you're smart about how you you know protect your capital going into a deal, uh, then uh, yeah, you can. Uh, there's some fantastic opportunities out there right now. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jeremy, and of course for tips. And if you want to check out more of his wallet wisdom, we will have a link to Jeremy's website on Coin.com. Have a great morning. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks.